Welcome back everyone. Sniping is fun here. We are so close. So close to finishing off this top 50 list. We are just have one more to go. But before we get to number one, I do have a good selection of honorable mentions that I feel are also franchises I feel that deserve to make a comeback in some way, shape, or form. They just missed the list one for one reason or another. And actually, I have about probably 20 here. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have 15 here, but when I originally made this list, that's 50 on my list. This 15, there were, I got up to about 70, 80, 90 franchises. So this isn't even all the honorable mentions, but it is some of the ones I feel I want to talk about the most. So without further ado, let me bring this big display in. First time ever using this thing, if I can get it set up right. And uh, if you haven't noticed, my camera, I am not inside out reversed. I'm not facing the uh, in a camera that is portrait mode, like looking directly at me, selfie mode. I have to freaking have a camera on the back end of like a normal phone <laughs> looking back at the back end of my phone. So, because this, I want you to be able to read. And this has 15 franchises I feel deserve to make a comeback. They just barely missed the 50 list. And also, like I said, there's a bunch more that I did not name. <laughs> I could name a few more probably off of this. Let's start off with Onimusha, the big hack and slash old feudal Japan demon slain action adventure game from Capcom. That needs to make a comeback. The last time we saw that... I believe was early PlayStation 3. I don't think they had anything else after that. Hydro Thunder. Classic, classic, I don't know who owns the IP now, Midway, like, boat racing franchise. The only thing I think they've ever released recently of that was, like, on Xbox Live, was, like, an updated version of the original. I want a new Hydro Thunder. Stuntman, for those of you that don't remember, the original was only on the PS2. The second one was, like, on PS3, PS2, 360, and whatnot. It's basically you trying to drive vehicles during stunts for movies. I thought that was a cool idea. Where the hell did that franchise go? The, last, the second one came out like in 2007. Like, Guitar Hero, and I'll mention Rock Band and Guitar Hero at the same time. I know that they got overdone. They were massively overdone, but there was so much character and fun to them by the end, especially like Rock Band. Guitar Hero kind of lost its way a bit, but they, both of them had some good games that I would love to see them come back given that I like rhythm games I'd like to see them come back um, Frogger classic I think Konami RPG RPG Cla I'm so tired right now after working I'm doing this in the middle of me working people Frogger classic arcade game I know they did some versions on it like on PS2 and the PS2 and game the PS1 PS2 GameCube updated like 3D ones action adventure ones and whatnot probably was an RPG somewhere <laughs> but like there hasn't been anything new with Frogger lately. That's a gaming classic. It needs to come back. Crazy Taxi would be cool to see back from Sega. The only bad thing about that is you pretty much could just throw that into any old open world like GTA game and it would probably be just as, you know, make as much more sense instead of a game that's solely based off taxi driving. Kid Icarus from Nintendo. They're on this was a whole hell of a lot. That came back when, when Sakurai brought it back with Uprising on the 3DS. We haven't seen it since. Can we get a new one, please, Nintendo? Uh, Custom Robo, same thing, another Nintendo franchise. I thought that was a pretty damn good franchise. Like an arena fighting game robot thing. They it, it, they had an idea there that they didn't really go any further than the GameCube and DS with. Lost Planet from Capcom. That was a fun franchise. That was just a whole hell of a lot of action fighting giant monsters and stuff. It pretty much like futuristic like Monster Hunter. I would love to see another one. Rygar, you should be able to see... I don't even know who owns the Rygar IP anymore, but we haven't seen Rygar since like PS2. And that was a cool classic franchise from the 80s. And I know you can't see the bottom ones because the camera's probably not that high up, but we got Outlaw Golf. I loved Outlaw Golf back on the GameCube and PS2. I would love to see a new one. I'd love to see something golf related that's not Mario and not 2K, Tiger Woods, pro golfing, whatever the hell. Goemon, the Mystical Ninja franchise, that was a fun franchise. I would love to see more of that. And Max Payne, because Max Payne was awesome. And we needed to see a new Max Payne at some point, shape, or form, because all of them were pretty good, especially the first two. And then franchises that I didn't have on this list, didn't make the list, but I know I'd like to see them come back. Ape Escape, uh, 
let's see. I didn't have, did I have NBA Jam. I had NBA Jam in my series list. A bunch of other games. Ape Escape, uh, Sly Cooper was on the list somewhere. Uh, various other franchises. If you can name a franchise that hasn't had a game in at least one or two generations, I'm sure as hell I had it on my list when I considered this months ago. So with that being said, this is the Honorable Mentions. I hope you guys like this video. There's Honorable Mentions right there. You should be able to hopefully see them. And stay tuned for number one!